And that first game at Lucas Oil is just, believe it or not, two days away. There's a lot of excitement downtown already, even without a fully packed stadium. Yeah, only 2,500 fans will be allowed in on Sunday. The reduced capacity affecting business all over the city. Fox 59's Kelly Rinky. Downtown right now, getting ahead of the party. I see you have your blue on, Kelly. How are fans feeling on this Blue Friday? You know, Fancy, I needed to have it for today. You know, the Colts home opener, it's going to be a spread out sellout. All 2,500 of those tickets are gone, and that's actually only about 3% of the seats that are available at Lucas Oil Stadium. So businesses are wondering how many people are actually going to be in downtown on game day. Never in a million years could we have imagined what the first year of opening up our new restaurant downtown would have looked like. The District Tap in downtown just celebrated their one year anniversary, the pandemic serving a few challenges along the way. If we could get, you know, maybe a third to half uh, of the business, you know, we're going to be more than happy. The restaurant's proprietor is remaining hopeful ahead of the Colts home opener. Just a walk from the Lucas Oil Stadium, their restaurant typically sees plenty of customers on Sundays. We had days where we were doing, you know, $50,000 in sales. Uh, which could be as much as uh, a week for a lot of places. Even the Indy Blue Crew will not be in on the action this weekend. I've probably been to every season opener, home opener, since 84, since they come to town, and uh, it's going to be very strange. The Colts have canceled tailgating on their property, so that means the party must go somewhere else. But you want to stay safe, too. Uh, like say last weekend, we, we had a, a little get together in our front yard and it was a, it was a blast. A season unlike any other as COVID-19 throws off the game plan. To come downtown and celebrate and get as close to the action as possible. And Colts officials urge you to check with where you decide to park to see what their rules are on tailgating. Colts will be competing against the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday and kickoff is at 1 p.m. In downtown, I'm Kelly Rinke, Fox 59 News.